Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a transparent background for your video using Premiere Pro. Now, in this example, you can see I've got a green screen back background with a lower third. And in another video, I'll show you exactly how I created this lower third. And you can do the same. And then obviously using the transparent background, you can have that lower third and add it to any of your videos. So I'll just scroll back and forth or I'll just play this video so you can see that lower third appear. And then it disappears after a few seconds. OK, and in Premiere Pro, I also um, added some sound effects. But uh, for this video, like I say, I'll show you how to create this video with a transparent background using Premiere Pro. So first of all, what I did was go over to Google and typed in green screen background and basically just grabbed one of these, saved it to the computer. So uh, save image as and then just saved it onto my computer. OK, so I've got that green background. And then I uh, created, basically used that background to create a video. So um, just basically put it into video editing software and just dragged the image along and saved it as a video. So basically turned the image into a video. Okay, then I opened that up in Premiere Pro. And you can see in this example, I've actually got a video where I've, I've added this. So this will just show you the kind of finished result. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unfollow unfollowers on Instagram using a Okay, so if we get rid of the video for now, uh, let's just move, get rid of the actual video. And you can see here, I've got the actual thing here. Okay, so that's the lower third. These are the sound effects. Now, I'll just set this back to how I had it to begin with. So all I did was opened up Premiere Pro clicked on import and I imported the green screen background and this is just a plain video uh, with a green screen background okay so it's just that's all it is all the way through and like I say that was just an image that I just dragged along and then saved it as a video so next I opened up so import and I opened up the lower third that I'd created and like I say I'll show you how to do how to create that in another video um, first of all, we'll just drag that over and put that on the timeline. So let's just line those up. And then if we play, we can see that appears there. So with that lower third, then obviously we could add that over the top of any video that we choose. Um, but we need to get rid of the background. So I'll show you exactly how to do that now. All you need to do is click on the effects tab at the top, go over to video effects, click on the little arrow to drop down and find keying, click on the little arrow to drop it down and find the ultra key. Now, first of all, we'll click on the green screen background, not the lower third, the actual video background, and then we'll click on the ultra key and now we'll click and hold the mouse button down and drag it over onto that so you can see it changes slightly so i've just put that onto this uh, the actual video background and you can see here now okay so just to let you know we're in effect still you can see in this section here key color and you can see an eyedropper tool so i'm going to click on that and then click on the green okay so you can see that turns it to black now that is what will be transparent but you need to save it in a certain way for that to be transparent if you don't save it in a certain way that will that will actually save with um, a black background and obviously that's no good if you're going to be putting that over the top of a video okay so what you need to do now is go to file and go to export media so then you'll see these additional settings and this is where it's very important to get these settings correct to save it as a transparent background okay so the first thing you need to do you'll see format and if we click on the drop down and just go down slightly we can see QuickTime so we need to change it to QuickTime okay and this is where you would save it so I'll come back to this in a second this is where you'll save it uh, so that's the name that you're going to save it as uh, if you've got sound effects and you want to download it with or save it with the audio obviously you'll have that export uh, audio okay so I've got that checked otherwise you can uncheck that and if we just scroll down now to this part where it's got video so we click it on the video tab and you can see video codec now if we click on that you need to change that to animation so the top one here animation okay and you can see then when i change that to animation that changed this preset to custom okay so that's fine as custom 
but that's what we need to do to have it as the video codec as animation so that we can scroll down and then change these other settings so i'm going to leave the dimensions those are those are fine 1920 by 1080 and i'm going to scroll down so that's set at 30 by default you can change it but i'm just going to leave that as it is um, progressive leave that as it is aspect as it is uh, i tend to leave this on render with maximum depth okay and you'll see at the moment this has got depth uh, 8b bpc okay now it needs to be for a transparent background 8 bbc bpc with alpha okay so all you do is check on that check that little circle there now that is the most important thing to save this as a transparent background like i say if you don't it'll actually save with a black background and if you're putting that over the top of the video that's no good so make sure that you check this option here and the rest of these can be uh, just left as they are and then all you would do is click on export okay and you can see that exports and what we'll do then is just show you this uh, lower third with a transparent background that you can add over the top of any video okay so now I'm just going to show you a live example so if I just import a video let's go for this one import and we can put that onto the timeline so we'll just put that here okay so that's your video obviously that can be any video that you've got and then go to file import and one of the very important things is to note that you're not changing this so when you've got that uh, quicktime video on your computer don't double click it and watch it as a as a video just leave it as it is um, so you don't need to be seeing it like one of these videos okay you just need to leave it as it is if you click it and watch it then it's going to change the format so as it is just click on that and click on import okay and you'll see that is blank and then you can drag it over to the timeline and once you've got it on your timeline then you'll see when you play it okay that then appears over the top of your video okay so that's the how to create a video with a transparent background using premiere pro i hope you've enjoyed the video hope it's helped thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video